Hey guys, Rich Page, our Gemathan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. Wanted to take a couple minutes and show you our sawmill capacity with a wood miser, super hydraulic LT40, and some of the uh, basic sawmill setup we have. And then eventually what I'll do is I'm going to make some videos on some individual sawing and some individual features of what's uh, what's in our sawmill building that makes it work so well for us. All right, so without a lot of ado, this is a Woodvisor LT40 Super Hydraulic, and I've got a 12-foot extension on it. It gives me the capability to cut a log at 33 feet. Uh, the biggest log I put on there is about 32 feet 6, and that's pretty much... Uh, all I wanted to put on it because I only had a couple inches on each end to play with when I put it on there. Uh, a couple things on the sawmill. Here you'll see we've got some tow boards. They lift the log up here, these two hydraulic rigs. And you've got your backstop, stainless steel uh, on the bunks. And it's pretty sawdusty because I've been sawing today. Uh, sawmill head. This is a standard head. It is not the wide. And for me, uh, backing up here a little bit just to show you, I'm not enamored with the wide sawmill head because I'm not doing a lot with slabs and the super wide logs. You know, the wider the log you saw, uh, it's problematic. And if I'm looking for timbers for beams, uh, this saw works out well. It's got the Yanmar engine, uh, the barker, as you can see here. This is a feature I put on there. It's a laser. I didn't buy the wood miser one, probably should have, but I made my own laser to put on there. I'll turn it on in a bit and show you how that works. Works. Uh, coming around to this side over here, uh, this is something if you're considering getting a sawmill, uh, if you're looking at a wood miser, this is the wireless control. So this sawmill is wireless control, so I can stand pretty much anywhere and operate the sawmill going up and down, back and forth. Uh, you still have to stand here to, to use the hydraulics that are down below. So generally I'm in this area, but uh, it's almost a hands-free operation using the wireless control. Um, if you've got any questions on that, send me a note. I am, I am all jazzed up about the wireless. To me, it's the only way to go. Over here is the, your controls. If you turn it on, turn it on like this, uh, you can see the uh, it's getting ready to uh, want to run with a glow plug. But you've got your digital readout. So if you want to go up and down, you know, this, this thing is smart. If you want to program a pattern, if you want to cut three quarter inch boards. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at this real quick. If you say... Uh, over here, we're at, we're at three quarter inch boards. Let's let's pick a let's pick manual. Let's pick a pattern. Uh, let's say three quarter inch boards. When you hit the button here, that goes down to a three quarter inch board, and it takes into account the curve of the blade. Your next cut, and this will give you exactly three quarter inch boards all the way down to the bottom. So even though it says it's uh, you know there's a handful here, it will do three quarters for the entire length of your log if it's a 20 inch log or a 10 inch log or whatever. And your last your last one will come out as good as your first one. On top here, this is what I put together. It's a uh, it's an inverter, and I've got a laser. Uh, I came from Amazon. That's what I put on the machine. So if you turn it on here, I've got it wired into the battery, and uh, I'll come around. This side try not to blind you but you can see how the laser works so the laser comes right across here in the front and it, it just shines on your log tells you where you are with with reference of height to your log so as you're sawing you'll know where you are so uh looking at the yanmar engine i've got yanmar in a couple john deere tractors i got yanmar in a loader and boy i think these engines are pretty much bulletproof so if you're thinking about an engine you know you can get the gas and gasoline is cheaper but these diesels uh they cost more but i tell you what if you're if you're working outside these this is the way to go so yanmar diesel um i changed this saw out and I run inch and a half blades. Standard blade is an inch and a quarter. So I've changed the guide wheels here uh, for inch and a half on both sides to get better support of the blade going through. You'll see I got a little bit of buildup on there. I run a diesel bar chain oil mix for lube on the blade to keep the buildup off the blades. The barker over here, so that runs in front of your saw. It keeps, uh, you know, it's going to make a, it's going to make a pre-cut, so it keeps all the dirt and stuff off your blade, gives you a longer blade life. So it works out pretty well. On this side over here, coming back around, you've got your lube miser. So this rig over here, 
if I turn it on, you can set it up. You can pulse your uh, your blade lube, or you can put it on continuous, and this can tell you the you know how rapid you want it to pulse over here with a number. So that works out pretty well. You've got your controls here. If you want to walk behind it, you can. Uh, or like like I said, for me. Uh, I'm all about the wireless controller. So that's a little bit of the sawmill that I have. LT40 wood miser, standard head, uh, inch and a half blades. I run seven degree pitch. Primarily here, we're cutting pine, we're cutting hemlock. We do cut a bunch of oak. I use some four degree blades for oak. Uh, but this is, uh, this is our sawmill setup. I'll take you down on the end because somebody might be asking a question, what the heck is this? Uh, my door openings on the sawmill are 21 feet, so any log longer than 22 feet, uh, I end up coming in through the short door here in the back, and I put the log tip on here, and this is a trolley, it's actually a sawmill head from Woodmiser cut down, so all the bearings are in place, you put the log right here, and you just trolley the log in with a with your loader forks or whatever and it'll walk it right down the line so if you're cutting a 32 foot log that's how i put them in uh give me some questions give me some feedback this is the wood miser sawmill i'm going to see if i can do some more videos on sawing a log and some of the other features we have uh i've got an edger in the back i'll talk about my sawdust collection system on another video talk about the doors uh how to make your doors and so forth so uh give me some feedback click like and subscribe thanks